Uh, definitely ball skill, getting the ball. Uh, I got quite a few turnovers this year. Uh, I made that a premium coming into this year, uh, and, and hopefully it made me a more marketable player. Where do you see your biggest strength? Uh, definitely that, uh, being able to take the ball away. What are some of your goals for the physical test? Uh, really don't have any numbers I want to do. Uh, they want to be around the 4-4 range. I want to be about high 30s, high 30s, uh, on the high jump, and then uh, vertical jump. You know, just, just those type of numbers. don't have a, anything to impress myself with. Do you look at the projections right now? Where, where uh, not at all. I haven't paid any attention to that. What's your kind of mindset as, as you came into this? Have you reached out to you know, people you know who might have gone through this? Like, uh, yes, I definitely talked to uh, Chris. He went through it uh, last year. Uh, just even him being here, uh, you know, we've been talking about getting here, you know, since we got to Auburn. And, uh, you know, it's definitely one of the biggest goals I had. And uh, to see it come true is, you know, great. Is it kind of weird, like, uh, have you done some interviews yet? Yes, I have. Is it kind of weird, like, the questions they ask you or evasive? <laughs> uh, I mean, they want to find out who they get. And, uh, you know, I, I understand each question. Uh, you know, they, if they ask me about my dog, I really I understand that, you know, that has an effect on the person. So I understand, you know, how each of those questions can, you know, portray a person's characteristics. Would you tell them about your dog? <laughs> they didn't ask me that, but I just understand that that could come up. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say. For fans that haven't watched you play, can you give them a, a quick scouting report? Oh, man, I'm a ball hawk. I like to go get the ball. Uh, <laughs> I'm a guy that, that's very talkative, have fun, uh, I interact with the crowd. Is there a trait that you feel like you need to improve on before you get to the next level? Uh, being a defensive back, I'm always say tackling. You know, that, that's an area that I always need improvement, especially with the space that, you know, people are playing with these days. Is there something when you look at NFL defensive backs, you're like, okay, if I'm going to succeed in the league, this is something I need to make sure that, uh, you know, I need to do at a high level? Uh, I think really just being consistent uh, and being able to learn a system fast. Uh, that, those are the things that I think will help me. Who's the best player you went up against uh, last year? Uh, the best player last year was Amari Cooper. Uh, he single-handedly defeated. <laughs> what was it about him? What was it about Amari Cooper? Uh, uh, the first half, he really didn't do you know as much as he did the second half. But we knew he was a great player. We thought we had, we had you know a game plan for him, and uh, you know he came out and was able to you know make make a lot of big time plays when when they did catch us in one on one situations. What, uh, what was it the first half, the second half, what was different about? Uh, they came out and just lunched it at him and told him to go make a play. Seemed like. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, Melvin Gordon better than what you guys thought he'd be? Okay. Uh, most definitely. We had high respect for him, but uh, he he definitely had the, the, the he's definitely one of the greatest backs out of play today. UConn uh, defensive back, long stride, Joe, strong, one. Uh, and determined back, to get into the end zone. Joe, <laughs> what makes him different than other backs? Uh, just, just his, his vision and, you know, his willpower to, you know, get through each and every on top. Did you get to play against, in, in a game against Georgia? Or no? I did. I did. So you saw Gurley, too. How, how would you compare Gordon and Gurley? Yeah, I played against Gurley this year and last year. And, you know, he probably a big back. I done played uh, just his side, the way he stands in the backfield. Just, I mean, you know he's getting the ball and there's nothing you really can do about it. Like a, a stiff arm that game. Was he deceptively strong, Gordon? Yes, yeah, sir. He was. He was. Uh, and I definitely didn't expect that move. <laughs> he's more. He's more of a power back than I thought. So if you answer this already, but what kind of assets do you think you can bring to an NFL team already in your first year? Uh, I definitely think I'm gonna be able to take the ball away. Uh, I definitely think I'm gonna be able to, you know, help guys learn, be a guy that, you know, a team guy, a guy that can come in and play special team early. What weaknesses in the game have you been working on most leading up to the combine? Uh, just really just reading coverage, understanding, you know, quarterbacks and understanding uh, when to come out my break and how to read routes. I mean, do you worry about the suspension at all and how that's going to be perceived? Uh, not anymore. I mean, it, you know, it's done. Something that happened. Can't really do anything about it at this point. What did you have to do? to get back on the field? Uh, that's between me and Cole Malvin. Right. I, 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 I like paint. to keep it that way. I heard you had to paint the question. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Is it awkward at all once you got back dealing with Coach Harvison? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, during my suspension, 
suspension. My suspension, we had contact. You know, me and him made up pretty quick. You know, I just had to go through the things I had to go through. What's the, uh, what you said was the best one about the, the face, the toughest guy to tackle?